Welcome back, folks. One of the top track and field events in the entire nation was underway this afternoon in Des Moines. As athletes, they were giving it their all at the Blue Oval for the 113th Drake Relays. Sports Force's Amber Salas brings us the action. This entire track season, athletes around Sioux Lane were giving everything they had to try to earn a Drake Blue Standard. Now, the time has come to compete against the best of the best. We'll start things off on the track in the high school boys 3200. Sioux City North's Gabe Nash running at the Drake Relays for the third time. He would kick it into gear trying to catch Pella, but would finish in second with a PR and school record of 907.94. It felt good. It was, it was a tough one. I kicked a little early. I think I could have had it, but I just kicked too early. It's, all, it's always my favorite time of the year. I love the Drake Relays. Now for some field events. Akron Westfield's Ian Blow competing in the boys' shot put. He would finish in sixth place at 53-11.25. To the high school boys' high jump, KPWC's Bo Goodwin clears the bar at 6-5 for a PR and ties a school record. Also jumping from Lamar's was Sione Fafita clearing the bar at 6-5. It's amazing. You know, not everyone gets a chance to come here. It's just, it's just lucky, actually. Now it's back to the track for the college women's 4x8 relay with Mount Marty, Wayne State, and Dort representing. And the defender women would finish in second place with a time of 908.88. That's currently the top time in the NAIA. The Dort men also representing on the men's side as well in the 4x8. The defender men finish in seventh with a time of 741.28. Also representing out in the field for the girls' discus was KPWC's Ali Schweitzberger finishing in fourth place at 134.11. It's pretty awesome. I'm really excited, like happy that I just got to come down here and all that. More athletes will be in action starting bright and early Friday morning. In Des Moines, Amber Salas, KTIV Sports Force.